Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Alright, let's check it out. Let's see what we got for you right now. We have a Russian car. A modern compared to other cars from back in the days from Russia. This is one of the latest models from them. We have for you 143 scale Lada Priora. Lada Priora. Now, this is a model that I never seen them in person. I'm not sure how many of you have seen them in person. Because I'm not sure in how many other countries were they sold. You know? But again, if they were sold in other parts of the world, let me know. Alright, so there's a 143 scale. They come they're made by Diagostini. They were this this model was part of a it was a Russian um group of models. They were called modern Russian cars in little words. And they were they had like about 80 cars supposed to come out. Only about 39 of them came out because then Russia got into the war with Ukraine. So all these diecast models were suspended. Hopefully they'll finish and they'll make them. They'll make um the rest of them so we can see the models that were supposed to come out. All right, this model, by the way, this Lada Prioria, was made between 2007 until 2018. So quite a quite a lo long long history. That's what uh, like over ten years. It's about twelve years. No, eleven years. Eleven year old run model, which actually for Lada is not such a long. You know, talk about the Neva made them for how long? God knows. And also the the one that looked like the Fiat One Twenty Four. I was made for many, many, very, many, many years. Now this car, they made them as a four-door sedan, like the one that we're looking at. They made them as a station wagon, and also as a three and a five-door hatchback. I find, I find them quite attractive, you know. It's, it's not a bad-looking car. It's not going to win any awards of the best looking car in the market, I don't think. But still not a bad looking car for 2007. You know. These were four cylinder vehicles. Let me tell you about the engines. There were 1.6, 98 horsepower. And the bigger engine was a 1.4, I'm sorry, 1.8, 120 horsepower. And they were only made in a manual, 5-speed manual. One was a 5-speed manual, and the other one was a 5-speed automated manual. Not bad, not bad. Alright guys, so I'm going to go around a few times, and I'll be right back.
All right, guys. So, you know, I have to say it. Back in the mid-2000s, these Russian cars, Lada, kind of picked up again and came up with some models, you know. They, um... Actually, I think they started picking up again when they came out with the uh, one that they used to make before this one was was the Lada. Never, let me remember myself. It was one ten, I think it was called the Lada one ten, and I found the what the Lada one ten to be quite modern. I gotta say, it. Uh, I'm not sure if those models were sold in your country. But I, I think I, that's when I think um, Lada started picking up again, or Vaz, however they say in your country. Some countries say Lada, some other countries call them Vaz. I know them more of the Lada. But I think they made them attractive. And one thing I do have to say about the, the Russian cars, when they pull out a model, they make sure they pull them as a station wagon, as a sedan, as a hatchback. Three, five door, everything. They make one model and they give you a lot of different options. Because not everyone wants to drive a station wagon. Not everyone wants to drive a sedan. Some people just want to have it as a hatchback. Because they find a more, you know, a little bit of both worlds. You could haul merchandise. They could put the seat down and fit more stuff. But at the same time, you're not driving your... Grandpa station wagons. A lot of people find station wagons to be very um, old school vehicles and they don't find them to be as attractive. I mean, I don't I don't mind at all a station wagon. I kind of like them. I think there's a bit of a pickup again in the automobile market that people are starting to appreciate station wagons again. Little by little. Little by little, you know. Because they started to see that station wagons were back in the days what SUVs are now. Alright guys. So don't forget to give me that nice thumbs up. I always appreciate them. And let me know in the comments. What do you think about these cars? Do you find them attractive? Do you find them to be a quite attractive car for a Russian brand? You know, remember, Lada's not very famous for making their own models, and making their own look, you know, looks in models. They usually copy a model from back in the days from Fiat. So, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Don't forget to give me that nice thumbs up, like I said before. And when you click and subscribe, by the way, the bell next to the subscribe button, subscribe button will remind you when I'm posting more videos. Alright guys, so take care of yourselves more than ever, and goodbye.